How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here. I have some really exciting information about AMD's Ryzen 8000 series and their Zen 5 architecture. Plus, I got information as well when it comes to their Phoenix 2 APUs. That's right, they're already in the works of Phoenix 2. I know for you guys out there who have Steam Deck and Asus ROG Ally are probably like, I can't believe they're already kind of coming out with the second version, but there's going to be a lot more to this. Well, they've spoken recently to XCA developers about their 7440U, and they're, what they're going to do is shrink their L3 cache, which allows for more cores when it comes to their Zen 4 and Zen 4C. This will allow for more improved dies and more smaller dies, so that way it can actually fit more cores when it comes to their APUs. Now, the reason why that they decided to do this is because they're looking more to compete when it comes with M2's silicone. They're looking for a way to get rid of the GPU and make it all in one chip and kind of make it into a processor GPU type of thing. Now, of course, this isn't really a new technology when it comes down to it. There has always been APUs around, but now they're actually investing to make it a whole lot better and make it improved to the point where you don't really need a graphics card. Now, does this hurt AMD in any type of way when it comes to their whole graphics? More than likely, it's not. They're going to be more focused on themselves when it comes to their whole APU. This will also help increase battery life. It will also help increase their productivity. And it's a lot less for it to process when it comes to graphics and when it comes to their CPU side. Only bad side of it is that it will leave NVIDIA out in the dust unless NVIDIA decides to get more into the APU game because this is going to be new for NVIDIA as well because they also worked on Tegra chips as well if you're not familiar with that but NVIDIA also have Tegra chips which is what's in the a Nintendo Switch and a lot of their previous tablets or their current tablet has Tegra chips installed in them but to get to the point here for Phoenix 2 AMD has decided to increase their core count when it comes to their Zen 4C Instead of having just two cores, it will go up to four Zen 4C cores. Unlike their GPU count, it's gonna, only going to go up to six, especially when it comes to their either their 7440U or their 7540U, which has been unofficially announced by them. Another part to this is that for you guys out there who have Steam Deck and who has Asus ROG Ally, for a Zen 4, for a Phoenix 2 processor, it's not going to be really designed graphically for that type of cause. Instead, it's going to be more focused, more of computing purposes more than anything, because it's not really going to be focused on the graphical part because it's only going to have up to six GPU cores compared to the massive 12 GPU cores that it had with their original Phoenix. There is no laptops out there in the market or tablets out there that currently have the AMD Ryzen 3 73, 7440U just quite yet, but we should see it soon within the end of this year or early next year. Now, Halo Sarlark is supposed to be the true competitor when it comes to Apple's M2 silicone, which is going to be really interesting, especially because now that Intel and AMD are bringing up the competition, I am really curious to see what 2024 will really bring us in the whole laptop world. Now, the Strix APU is supposed to be so competitive that it can compete up to the RTX 4070 Max-Q, which is a 40CU configuration. RDNA's 3.5 GPU will be available in three different ways, which is going to be the 32, 24, and the 20CU, which is going to be competitive with the up to the RTX 4060, RTX 4050, and even the RTX 3050. AMD is supposed to release Strix Point sometime soon. And as we all know, it's supposed to have up to 12 cores. Allegedly, Strix Point is no longer the name and instead it's supposed to be called Sarlark. Sarlark Halo is supposed to have up to 40 CUs, which is a large improvement compared to its predecessors. Now Halo is supposed to have up to 16 cores and even feature RDNA 3.5. It's going to be one of the largest ever performance increases when it comes to AMD's APUs. Are you guys familiar with Final Wire LTD, which is a company that created ADA64? 
it is a great benchmark tool that is being used by engineers in the IT industry. It is great to stress test your GPU, your CPU, your RAM, and all kinds of PC components when it comes down to your PC. This isn't just to talk about how great the benchmark software is, but the new 6.9 version features. And it does give indication, and this is more for the Intel guys out there, that it does give indication based on Meteor Lake, Lunar Lake, and indications of Raptor Lake as a new benchmark that is optimized for AVX2 on ADA64. In a recent webcast, Zen 5 has officially been announced, which is going to be AMD's Ryzen 8000 series. Now, the really good thing about AMD's Ryzen 8000 series is that you are able to use it on your new Zen 4 boards. So if you have an X670E or you have a B650 or any of these boards, then you can easily install an AMD Ryzen 8000 series processor into that board. All you need is a simple BIOS upgrade and bada bing, bada boom, you can easily have a brand new processor in there. Now, it's supposed to improve user experience. It also has better optimizations. It's also supposed to have better temperatures. And on top of that, it's also supposed to improve when it comes to core count and efficiency. Now, these are all things that AMD has said, but they haven't officially announced the actual core count or that actual thread count when it comes down to it. It's supposed to be such a big improvement when it comes to actual AI and their instructions per clock when it comes to their new Zen 5 processors. Supposedly and allegedly, they also said it's supposed to have better thermal management. We all know how AMD does with thermal management, but it would be pretty impressive to see if it has improved since the Zen 4 architecture. They're also looking to increase better productivity on a wide range when it comes to either gaming or content creation and even AI. These new processors, unlike the things that you have been hearing recently about Zen 4 when it comes to their whole security protocol, is that they're supposed to be much more protected because they have what's called AMD Shadow Stack and it, there's also data protection, Infinity Guard, which helps protect your personal information. They're thinking of increasing the L2 cache two or three megabytes. It will improve their processor side when it comes to their use. I'm interested to see exactly how much better use we will get out of it, but that is something only time will tell. Zen 5 is supposed to be such a large improvement over its predecessor Zen 4 that you should expect up to a 18% increase in performance and up to a 34% increase of power efficiency. They're also expected to have TSMC's three nanometer nodes that will be their efficiency and also their performance when it comes down to TSMC's 3NE or 3NPs, which is one part of Intel that AMD has beaten, which is that they are already in the 3NM phase compared to the 7NM phase. Bam, bam, guys, this is a lot of information to process, but most of everything that I did mention now, we unfortunately won't see a lot of it until 2024. Now, there's still going to be more information that is slowly leaks out. And as soon as it does, I will make sure to let you, fam bam, know about it. So, fam bam, guys, I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is into PC and tech, make sure you share this video with them. And also, if you're not part of the big one, the full fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here, as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. What are your thoughts about AMD's 8000 series? Are you interested in getting their processors or will you be leaning more onto Intel's side? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.